Next, another round of elevator issues at Summit Towers in Knoxville and what this means now for those who live there. We know both of the building's elevators were out of service for at least a few hours this morning, and this is not the first time there have been issues with the elevators at Summit Towers. Last month, you'll remember, more than 270 people had to be evacuated after a small fire led to the elevators being out of service for days. In fact, Summit Towers tells us that around $54,000 has now been spent on replacing damaged parts with new ones over the past month. Well, while we don't know the cause of today's elevator issues, we know for many of the people who live there, this was a big concern and inconvenience. Porter Lexi Spivak is on your side tonight. She spoke with one couple who lives all the way up on the 12th floor. Lexi. Well, when I went over to Summit Towers this morning, there was a line of people waiting to get on the one elevator that crews were able to get working again. Most of the residents say this isn't uncommon. The couple I spoke with estimates that the elevators aren't working at least once every other month. At this point, they just want a solution. At the top of Summit Towers, you'll find John and Lenita Rohr. This morning, they were met with an obstacle. We didn't expect this this morning when we woke up. Broken elevators. This morning, I was supposed to have a doctor appointment at UT at 9 30, and with that being down, I just called and rescheduled it for Friday morning. And it's not just doctor's appointments. We are on food stamps, and matter of fact, we get them on the 15th. I thought, are we going to be able to go out today and get any groceries? John also says he can't take out his trash when the elevators are out of order because the chutes aren't working. He also says this isn't that uncommon. The elevator's been breaking down way before the evacuation fire, either one breakdown or two breakdown. Of course, there are stairs, but they both explained why that's not an option. Like I said, climbing down 12 flights of stairs, I can't do that. And I can't do that either because it hurts my legs. John says he's fearful something worse will happen and the elevators won't be there in a time of need. What if somebody up here is really sick and need a paramedics? That'd be hard on them trying to get up here to get the person. He says they just want the problem fixed. That would be nice if they just get, get it right. And in the meantime, he's leaving it up to the guy who lives above him. God gets us through our rough times and he gets us through the good times, but they put our trust in him. He always gets us through it. All right, now officials with Millennia Housing Management in charge of Summit Towers say that repair crews are waiting on a doorboard that they need to fix the second elevator. They expect that to arrive, to, uh, to arrive tomorrow. Back to you guys. All right, Lexi, thank you. By the way, everyone, you can read Millennia Housing Management's full statement online at WATE.com.